Hey everybody, here's that freaking HP on one again. You know, the one I just sent a video on recently of, um, well, I'll show it to you. It'll be, yeah, an example of typical all in one desktop reliability. Yeah, that one. Well, <laughs> you know, I did sort of manage to get the thing to work somewhat. Um, well, it decided it wanted to die again. This is completely dead this time. I mean, it spins a fan, but nothing else. And the owner of the machine <clears throat> literally just wants to get rid of the thing. I mean, just wants his files removed, so he have his files back, and just doesn't really want to dump a whole bunch of money into this thing. I can't blame him you know, for a machine like this. These all the ones I can't stand them. <laughs> And I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you what's inside of one. Um, I've already st I've already started to sort of disassemble it just a little bit, but um, here's the cover that covers over the motherboard, you know, things like that. But um, there's your motherboard. Speaking of, <clears throat> here's the cooling fan, hard drive sitting over there, desktop hard drive. So yeah, desktop hard drive, but laptop memory. <clears throat> Des I mean, let's see, laptop CD drive, but desktop CPU. <laughs> so this is the motherboard itself, uh, you know, as I mentioned. There's the Wi-Fi card. This does have this did have built-in Wi-Fi, and there's our TV tuner. Yep, TV tuner card. You see, here's the coax connection. Yeah, it's funny. I, I don't quite understand it, you know. <laughs> Windows 8 and a um, TV tuner. And now, we look at the bottom here, wherever it's at, yeah. The Windows 8, Windows 8 sticker, that's not a Windows 8 Pro sticker. So, this thing obviously did not have Windows Media Center. So, render that nearly useless unless you had some sort of basic um, channel flipper program, as I guess you can call them. We used to have channel up, channel down. That's about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just don't understand why people pay so much money for these pieces of garbage. I mean, they, they're awful. I mean, if it was a desktop tower, you could just simply buy a replacement motherboard for not too much money. Now, I mean, I'm sure I could go online and order a motherboard for this thing, but it's gonna probably cost an arm and a leg. And another thing I don't like about these all in ones, you know, I've seen people, you know, buy these things and, oh, accidentally knock them over. Crack the screen. The screen is such a large size that these aren't necessarily commonplace. That's, um, I had that happen before, and unfortunately I couldn't source the screen for the thing. So they ordered us out a bunch of money for a two, to, for a less than two year old all in one because they knocked it over and cracked the screen. You know, honestly guys, you should just keep the um, the computer and monitor separate. Don't buy these these desktop monitors with a laptop crammed behind it. I mean, seriously. <laughs> just don't do it. But for those of you who may have wondered what was actually inside this thing, well, here you go. Just a brief overview as I salvage some stuff out of it. Now I'll probably just donate the rest of it. Don't really have much room for it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.